Hello and good day. Hope everyone's doing well. My name's Andrew Connors. I'm a managing director here at Fairport Wealth, and I chair our practice group that focuses on working with business owners, entrepreneurs, and oftentimes a lot of family business owners. And we put out this monthly newsletter so we can share best practices and knowledge so that you can have a better business, better grow your wealth, better family. And what we wanted to talk about today is a blind spot for many, many business owners. And what we often see when business owners will come to us is that they usually either have an estate plan that is woefully outdated or oftentimes they don't even have an estate plan. And so what we wanted to talk about were some of the issues around this and why often this is the case. And when we think about business owners and estate planning, it's definitely a different process. And why is this? Your business owners, your assets are often much more dynamic and complex because of your business than most traditional individuals. And therefore, a traditional estate plan might not always be the best fit for you. Also, most estate plans don't take into account the unique family dynamics that are also involved when you own a business and oftentimes have a family and those two things are also getting intertwined. Another challenge we often see business owners face is the idea of estate planning. Viewing it as estate planning is obviously not that exciting of a planning topic to address, hence why it's a priority but is usually left on the back burner. The concept and reframing the idea from estate planning to legacy planning we often think is a much more aspirational and important way to think about this process. And so if you think about it through a lens of legacy planning, then it becomes something important. It's what is my impact going to be in my family? What is this wealth going to do for myself and future generations? And so what we wanted to share today were just some questions we think are best practices to ask as you start going through this process, process rather. And the best way to do this as a starting point is get your advisors involved. In a lot of our videos that we've done in newsletters, we always talk about who's your team. And so when you're doing estate planning, obviously having a trusted estate planning attorney and your wealth manager collaborating are really important. So what are the first questions we always like to ask clients and families and business owners is, what is one word that you think of that describes your family? And what story would you share that describes that word or that value perhaps? That is a great way to set the tone for what is important to you. Another question to think about is, how did you acquire your wealth? How did your parents maybe acquire their wealth? Sharing a memory around some story or lasting impression that you remember from your parents is another great way to start setting the tone about values and things that are important to you that you wanna pass on or have, a, have be an impact as part of the estate planning and legacy planning process. Another thing to think about, what do you want your wealth to do for your family, for your community? If your family were to receive a large inheritance tomorrow, how would you want that to have an impact? What does that look like? Another thing to think about in the context of, call it dividing assets among different family members, and this is an area we see a lot of families and a lot of business owners really struggle with, is this idea of trying to treat all of their children fair and equal However, those two things always don't mean the same thing. So giving that a lot of thought is also a great starting point uh, to productive discussions and leading to productive outcomes. Another point to think about, how did your parents divide their assets when they passed? We as advisors are often on the front end and back end of estates being implemented and executed. And we've seen varying scenarios play out and the varying impacts that they have on generations who are on the receiving end of that. And so really understanding uh, what that impact looks like we think is really critically important. Another thing to think about is from a final care standpoint, what is the one thing that you felt went really well with your parents' generation? What lessons can you take away from that that you would like to pass on to the next generation? And when we think about passing things along from one generation to the next, this is where details start to get important. And estate planning can also be a challenge because it starts to become a blue ocean of possibilities. So when you can start narrowing these down into 
details that are important to you about what a legacy looks like to you, what impact looks like to you. Those are all good starting points, and these questions that we've just shared are questions that we use when we have these meetings with families to help them get their brain tuned to thinking differently about how they approach estate planning. Having great outcomes doesn't happen by accident. It happens with intentional planning and focus, and it's not something that is just done as a one-off. And oftentimes what we find is having a guide or a partner to help you on that journey, and that's a role that I think we play really well, can be time well spent. So if we can be a resource in answering any questions as you think about your estate or rather legacy plan, definitely reach out and let us know. If you'd like us to email you a checklist that we think is often beneficial when thinking about legacy planning that has great questions and whatnot in it, shoot us an email and we will forward you the planning questionnaire that we use that could be a good starting point for you.